Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. So it is now the 5th of November, Tuesday. Thought it was Monday. Oh, that would have made it even worse. This week would be going way too slow. Did a little bit of adulting today. Went and got a shovel, finally. All the snow has melted off my deck, but I got the shovel, so that counts. Tomorrow we're supposed to get about three inches, depending on how the weather goes, I guess. Uh, some places we're looking at an inch, some we're looking at three. So I'm kind of hoping we get three. I kind of like seeing all this snow. I also got some fig bars. Do you guys like fig bars? To me, they kind of hold more of a nostalgic feeling for like winter. I don't know why. Let me know if you guys like fig bars down below. If you don't, what uh, treats or cookies do you guys like in place of fig bars? Let me know. All right, so I hope you guys are all doing well today. I have to catch you up on a few things over the past, what, few days. Uh, nothing big. Got the furnace looked at. That just happened today. Uh, awesome. Basically, it's clean as a whistle. The filter is wrong, uh, which I knew going into it. Uh, he said basically the filter's doing nothing at this point, so you, he's like, you can run it for months and months and until you actually find the, the real field filter for this and you'll be fine. So that's totally fine. It looks clean. Um, he said I probably have like a good 15 years left on it before anything bad happens. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's awesome. Only charged me, what, 85 bucks for basically just coming out and doing a quick maintenance check on it. So I'll take that instead of spending thousands of dollars for a new furnace. And then one thing I did change in my bedroom were uh, the, the shades or the blinds up in the windows. Uh, longer floor to ceiling so it makes the window look bigger. Uh, both sides are done. Before I had this little... Uh, pattern going on it's not bad I actually have a bedroom set that matches this but I'm gonna give that to my parents and hopefully they can make something work over at their place with it I'm just trying to clean up and get my place looking a little better I actually have I actually sat down and thought about what I wanted to do with this place and a lot of it I'm not gonna be able to do until spring just because I need Obviously with painting fumes and whatnot, I don't want the doors to be open or windows to be open. I can't really do that in the winter. So what better way to end the night than by relaxing on the couch and just watching some football. I'm having an issue with the sound bar where I don't know if it's just with digital type stuff, but for some reason, some of the stuff, if I'm, if I turn the sound bar on right now with the TV, it's gonna make a really loud staticky noise. But if it works perfectly fine with the PlayStation, and some of the stuff, some of the smart apps on here, like going through Google, it won't let me watch a movie without it playing that loud staticky sound. But if I play YouTube on the TV, it works just fine. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the sound bar. I'm gonna have to try and figure that one out. That one's kind of annoying me though. Uh, on top of that, I'm gonna go to Menards sometime in the next week, uh, hopefully tomorrow after work, uh, just for the fact that they have somewhat of a sale going on on a lot of their Christmas stuff and I want to deck my place out and I'm really pumped. This is going to be my first Christmas in my own place. Uh, so I want, I want to deck it out and give me that Christmas spirit. Um, where I'm going to put the stuff afterwards when I have to put it all in storage, I have no clue. <laughs> but I guess uh, I didn't even think about that. I have my tree coming over from my parents' place. I have no idea where I'm going to put that. But I think that's definitely going to do it for me tonight. Today was a very productive day. Uh, got the furnace looked at, or the HVAC system, because it's a two-in-one. Uh, got that looked at, it's just fine. Um, and then cleaned a bunch around the condo. So there's still some areas that I want to tidy up a little more this weekend. But seeing that I got a three-day weekend because I took off Monday, I'm going to enjoy it. It's my birthday weekend. I'm just going to sit around, relax, if possible. We do have D&D &D on, ooh, oh, intercepted, close to it. Nope, nope. Just tipped it. Anyway, we do have some D&D going on Saturday, so I'm going to make sure to film some of that as well so you guys can see that. But I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm about to pass out on the couch while watching some football, and I think I may make some rice. I don't know, but I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so today was a little different. I thought I was going to be getting done at my normal time, and then it hit me that I had appointments to go to, so I didn't get home until... Well, then I stopped at Menards afterwards just to pick up the Christmas ornaments. I'm sweating beads right now. 19 degrees out and I'm sweating. Stopped at Menards, picked up the Christmas ornaments that I wanted. But because, I mean, it's a, it's a quick shot right to my place. So because of that, I didn't get home until 8.10. My appointments weren't until, uh, they didn't end until 6. And then um, because of where they were located, it took me a while to get home. But I got my Christmas decorations. This isn't everything right now but it's at least a start. I'm happy. I got a 64 inch uh, lattice cloth snowman. I got three 
uh, Christmas trees that I'm probably going to put somewhere over here. Maybe not because this is also where I want to put the Christmas tree. Got my lights for the Christmas tree and I also got these light up uh, natural gift boxes, set of three natural gift boxes. So they look pretty cool. And wrapping paper. Uh, like I said though, that's definitely not all my Christmas decorations that I'm going to have this year. I actually have a $60 gift card uh, that I got from Disney. And just a heads up, if you ever go to Disney, you can opt out of um, room service and they give you a $60 gift card in return. So take it or leave it. If you like room service, by all means. I usually still tip them uh, just for coming in at the end of the service and or at the end of my stay and cleaning up and whatnot. And I'll still tip them at that point. But uh, if you don't want that, they'll give you a $60 gift card. So I need to use that. And I'm thinking about buying some Christmas decorations. Uh, it has to do a wisdom saving throw. On a fail save, they take 3d8 damage. On a save, they take half as so much. Radius of 15 corner. feet, yeah. so it'll 50, yep. hit like most of them. That's good. Watch the only ones that doesn't hit is 2, 13, 12, and 6. Or Nine. Nine? Nine? Oh, I would call that a nine. Sure. Yeah. So number uh, number nine is going to uh, try and spit fire at uh, the bat. Oh, at the bat. Yeah. Well, this is the past, so he's still back here. Oh, okay. We kind of got a time loop going on. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Okay. Oh, Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Hopefully this to, one makes sense. That needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Annette does? Yeah. 18 and over 18. Uh, what do we so got? Was only yeah, they'll both hit. Two? Okay. 200? So Wolver's Sword is 2d8. Right. Nope. Plus yeah, ours two. is a 3. Yeah, ours is a 10, 12 four. for the first one. Oh, yeah, eight's dead. Okay. So you just kind of like slash through him on the first one and he falls down dead. dead. So who's dead? So Santa ran you over and then said, ho, 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 naughty, naughty. Okay. What damage did we take? And there's no change in his mind. You all, He's just fighting you him. You all yeah. took 8 damage, wasn't it? Yeah. Eight damage. Yeah. Well, this is real life, and you could start fight Santa to be on the nice list. <laughs> Welcome to every mall. <laughs> so, wouldn't we have who's to take, wouldn't we be behind him then? Well, he kind of circled around. <laughs> it's like a fighter jet. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did twenty-six. Then. Okay, 26. twenty-six. And Santa takes thirteen. The reindeer are all dead. The reindeer are all dead. All right. Now we only have to worry about. Way to go. Kill him with kindness. So he's gonna do another dispel magic. <laughs> So let me get this hippie out of here. He's, he, he, he's gonna do another G spell magic on your uh, call lightning. Oh come on! But this time he has to roll for it. So it has to be a sixteen or higher. Um. Okay. That will be his turn. All right. So obviously I'm back at my condo right now. Uh, not sure if you got the whole lingo uh, going for the D and D. Uh, I actually recorded bits and pieces of it from different parts of the game. Later in the game, though, I'm not sure if you caught the lingo that we used but we were actually in a fight with Santa. It was really cool. A lot of stuff in D&D, &D, um, you can go off of the books, which we're going off of a story called The Tomb of Annihilation. That's the actual main story. Every now and then, uh, Mitchell, who is the DM or Shrimp, um, he, he can incorporate some homebrew stuff or some of the stuff that he made personally, and he can incorporate it into the game. Like one time we actually went into a tower and I had multiple rooms. This time, we all walked into some snow that just appeared out of nowhere uh, as we were walking around in the, the, the wilderness. And all of a sudden, we just get hammered with a sleigh and reindeer, and we all take damage. And we're up against a huge fight with a very beefy Santa. Uh, he took forever to take down. Rudolph was an okay fight. That one kind of went down real quick. But the reindeer were just annihilated. We did one fireball, and they were all gone. He put up a really hard fight. It took forever and it was really cool because we were all worried that we might die in this match and it might be the end of us but by the time we ended up taking out Santa uh, Mitchell said there was a bright light and when we all came to it was like it was a big dream but we all had presents by our characters and he actually went into a box and he took out uh, Mitchell actually got us small gifts it was really cool so it really brought in the whole spirit of Christmas thing right around the corner seeing that that's next month already but we weren't sure if we were going to be getting together next month uh, we are, but we didn't know that ahead of time, so Mitchell went and got us all a little bit of a, a gift. So that was really cool. Thank you, Mitchell. That being said, I need to relax tonight and look over my character and plan out some more of my future for my human druid and uh, see uh, where I want to take him with this game. Uh, other than that, 
I'm working on a couple games this weekend. I'll show a picture right here so you guys can see them. Evil Land and Evil Land 2. Uh, they're really cool games. Evil Land 1 is really short. Evil Land 2 is really cool. It's a lot longer. I think it's like around the 15 hour mark. But they're based on old school games and that's what's really cool and what I really like about them. They take a lot of things from Diablo or Final Fantasy or Legend of Zelda and they kind of mash them all into one game. So it's really cool to see that. So if you want something that's kind of got a new take on some old spins and video games, might want to take a look at Evo Land. But that is going to do it for today. I am dead tired. I need to hit the hay. I'm 31. I'm not as young as I used to be anymore. Once you're past 18, it goes downhill, I think. At least that's the way I see it. But I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.